Hi, welcome back. Welcome to Autocom Post 5 Quick Learning Video. Our topic is Basic Interface. The Autocom Post 5 Backend icon. This is your login screen. In the future, you might have few more account book like mine. At this moment, click at account book for post and login ID is Admin. Admin is a default password created by Autocom system for users. You may change it later, but I will cover this topic under advanced maintenance. Congratulations, you just log in into Autocom accounting post system backend for the first time. We start with layout. First, top bar is the name of your company. If you accidentally enter the wrong company name, you may change it at General Maintenance, Company Profile. Second, at the bottom bar, this is to identify who is the one that logged in into the account book. What is the status of your license? Either it's trial, temporary or permanent license. Third, hover your mouse at the menu bar and it will drop a menu selection for you. Make it simple, we call this a drop-down menu. Fourth, widget or menu shortcut. You can customize this menu based on your frequently used function. Click at the top right, there's a customize option. Let's say your job is only check on post transaction. You can remove all the function here and only remain post transaction available for you to choose. Save it. If you change your mind and want it to back to a default setting, click again customize and reset to default. Fifth, a widget function. We focus at purchase order function try and hover your mouse on top of the purchase order widget use your left click button and it will generate a new purchase order form for you next try use your right click to click on top of the purchase order widget or shortcut menu this will show you a historical data of what you have entered previously you can still create a new document by click at the create new button you may also perform edit for the existing document the rest of the function i will go through with you in the later chapter lastly if you hover your mouse on top of the widget or menu box a magnifier glass will appear this is a search function. Use this if you want to search for a recorded document that you have entered previously. The conclusion is left mouse button to create a new document. Right mouse button, if you click, it will show you the historical data. And click for a magnify glass if you want to do a search function next will be a bit tough but bear with me i will share all my knowledge with you to complete this topic smoothly now let's begin click at point of sales menu and select post front end this will create a new front end database for you specifically we select retail a wizard will appear click next Create a new standalone database. Enter your company name for your post front end. For your information, post back end and post front end will not share the same account book. Even though the company name is the same, in AutoCount Post System, we use separate account book to utilize the function of synchronization. In short, if you attach the same account book while running your activity when your connection either wired or wireless disconnect both front end and back end data won't be able to access each other for transaction activity and those activity will be paused if a separate account book is used even if you won't be able to access back end you may still continue your activity at both front end and back end 
Once the connection resume, a synchronization will link each other again. Notice that under database name, it will add FE. FE, even if you enter a company name previously, it won't duplicate and easier for you to identify this is an account book for post front end. Click test connection for final checking. This to make sure your system is up and running. Click next. Click at get location. System default will prompt option HQ. Select HQ, click OK and next. Finally, click finish. System will create a new account book for front end. This screen is for synchronization. As I mentioned earlier, I will explain more details about synchronization in later chapter. At this moment, just click OK. One more setting before system allow you to enter. Select terminal T01. This is a default terminal created by the system. Click OK. When there is a message prompt, product ID is not found. This is a reminder that you are running on trial version. Once you enter your license key, it will not appear anymore. Click Yes. This is login screen for post front end. It indicates your terminal ID for counter. Although there is no ID to be key in, user may just enter password to login either by character, input, or numbers. Your default password is admin. There is few more options before you log in. Let me walk you through. Clock menu, example, for a simple reporting purpose and admin activity, such as to perform synchronization, print barcode. Menu for staff attendance is to record user Usually, we refer to employee for post system to check their clock in and clock out in a simple manner. Later, admin may able to check and print report for staff attendance for reference and further action. Click enter. First time, login. Consider this is your opening counter for post. Let the amount become zero Untick the print receipt option and click enter. When you are prompt, are you sure? Click yes. First top screen will show your company name for post. Second, the empty bar is a function bar. If you hover your mouse, it will appear function available for you. This I will cover in a later topic, this empty bar will also be used for you to scan your barcode reader information. System will search the item from it and automatically the item will appear on a list. Third, on your right corner, there is an option for menu. You can click to append the menu. Any available menu you created will appear here to be used for the fast and most common item. To reduce time for you to scan the barcode, instead you just click item and can be multiplied with the quantity that you prefer. It is also common to use this menu for item without serial number. You may click again the menu button to close or hide the function. Fourth, item search to locate item by keyword. Fifth, item quantity to change the quantity of the item. Price change to change item price for in case item wrongly appear in a sticker of an item. UOM unit of measurement some item may be want to sell in a box example water bottle in a dozen of a box or instead of a bottle of each individual item. You can change it to sell at a box price. In some condition, if you set price promotion example, maybe there's a discount for the item. If you sell in a box, 
it might be a different price, probably much more cheaper, instead of selling it in a single bottle. Discount to enter in amount or percent. Select item you want to delete in a row. But if you want to start over and clear everything, use the which is clear all transaction. 11. Search for previous bill. You can reprint bill or void the bill. 12. I will combine this whole bill and recall bill usually to be used for item that not yet confirmed. Example, booking in advance or you may remove the item temporary from the system for customer to prevent being sell to other customer but it can be considered as item sold. To reprint letters bill issued for fast printing, example customer request for duplicate receipt. Cash in or out, example to prevent too many cash available in a cash drawer, supervisor may take out some of the big notes in a huge amount from existing cash drawer. More function to access maintenance of the post front end, this will be covered in a later topic. Log out to exit the current post front end session without closing the counter. For your information, closing counter will be explained under transaction topic later. This option to settle or pay the post sales transaction. Option available is cash, credit card, multi payment. Usually, this is for customer who combine example cash plus credit card or cash and check etc credit sales will move current transaction into credit terms but with condition must select existing debtor before able to use this function there's tiny bar hidden to check next page if any other payment option available like mine e-wallet is hidden if you click it will show you the next payment method. Thank you.